today I'm sharing a look at um, our daughter Charlotte's nursery room here at the family vacation home in Utah. Uh, it's adjacent to our room and I'll give you a little bit of a glimpse of that in the tour. I'll have to excuse any background noises you hear, there's a lot going on. Uh, but I just gotten lots of requests to show this so I thought I would go ahead and do so. And it's just going to be informal, just me showing you around. It's not fully complete. I still need to get a few touches here and there, but I haven't been in a real rush to do so. And um, it was kind of hard to do it this summer when she was still so little. Uh, and um, we've been here kind of sh for a shorter trip. This winter trip has only been a couple of weeks. But we're coming back for the long haul in the summer, and I plan to finish up then with some more kind of tchotchke things, things for her shelves, and some more lighting option, because she doesn't have a, actually any overhead lighting in this room. But as you can see, she gets a lot of daylight through there, and there's actually a skylight which we've haphazardly covered up with cardboard because it shines really brightly in the room during nap time, and there's no other way to cover it. Uh, but it's actually worked. It's held for over half a year or so. If it, if it works, it works. Anyway, I'm going to take you from the front of the room and show you everything I can. Okay, so here we are at the door to Charlotte's room. And I'll just show you what I was talking about, how it's adjacent to our room. There's a sliding door. There's our room. Disregard the mess under the bed as I'm still kind of reorganizing that. Uh, but you see it's very easy for me to get in and out if she needs me. And um, yeah, it's really a great setup. Um, so here in the front of the room, I hung this shelf from Land of Nod really low, thinking of her, um, you know, being able to reach things when she's you know, able to like put on her own coats and stuff uh, as a place for her to keep her little jackets and things. Um, and there's not a lot on here right now. I have these little Winnie the Pooh letters that I bought on Amazon. I will link all the products that I can for you guys, but I just wanted something in this little kind of entryway nook to be storage functional. I might end up moving those letters. None of this tchotchkes that I have, which are very few and far between, are kind of set in place. I don't want to wait till I've kind of accumulated more things. Um, but also, I'm not decorating too much in case she shows a strong preference and, you know, later in a few years and doing her own thing or maybe if we have um, are blessed with another child to be able to have two kids in here and, and kind of accommodate two kids and, and you know so maybe less decoration and more kind of functional but I've just got her stuff that we're using right now hung up here and her little shoes are so cute um, but that's the beginning uh, of the room and you walk in you can see there's a lot of light in from the window and I'll just give you kind of a general lay of the land here. It's a really big room. It's much bigger than her room at home even. Um, and it's just beautiful, beautiful room. I love the wood log, um, you know, walls and stuff in this house that we have here. The carpet's really nice, plush. They put in the carpeting like f four or five years ago and it's just really nice. You'll see some, we have a lot of sound machines in here because the house echoes a lot. Um, so I think I have three sound machines all day. Uh, but they come in handy. And that's another thing down the road that we won't need as much. So, um, well, obviously right away you see the crib. The crib was from, hmm, now I have to remember. I believe the crib was from Bye Bye Baby. It's very inexpensive. Um, my sister-in-law, Emily, actually has the same crib for her that she used for Grace and also now for her son, Theo, in a lighter wood color. And it's just really inexpensive and just really great crib. And I wanted to go with a dark wood in here. Um, just because of the, the light carpeting and the light wood on the walls and the white walls, I just wanted it to be, to, to be wood. Um, but here's her crib. Um, she's got her little zip up, um, sleeper in there just laid out for nap time and stuff. Her little blankie from Pottery Barn Kids. This, uh, mobile I had ordered from Etsy, Sweet Bower Knits. I will obviously link her because she is amazing. And I asked her to de design something after one of my favorite Winnie the Pooh stories of where Winnie the Pooh goes after the honey jar, uh, the honey, um, the hive, the honey from the beehive in the tree by pretending he's a cloud by holding onto a balloon. Um, she actually has it listed now in her shop as a thing you can buy ready-made, but it's really beautiful mobile. And I just stuck that up with a 3M command hook. Um, so, and I left a little bit of twine there so it's easy for me to shorten or lengthen depending. It's working out great. Um, so that's the crib right there. You'll see I also have the same rug that I have in our master bedroom at home that is another Etsy find. Sorry, the lighting's going to do weird things in this room, you, too, you guys, um, because it's just weird lighting. It's 
cream carpet, white rug. I don't know why it looks blue, um, but it's from Faux Fur. I don't know the name of the shop, but I'll have it linked below. And it's just a faux sheep skin rug. I just, it's such a large room and I wanted to have, especially last year when I was taking weekly um, kind of update photo, growth photos of her, I wanted to have the same background too. Um, so that's why I bought that rug. And also I kind of like that it, it kind of, you know, adds a little something to the room, makes it seem a little bit more cozy and she loves playing on it. So that, that works out. The little toy basket I got at um, Target, I believe over the summer and then the chair I think that was also from Bye Bye Baby but I honestly don't remember you guys but it's a really nice glider it was a lot less expensive than the one I have at home but it's sufficient and it's great a uh, hand knit blanket from a family friend out here beautiful and then the furniture other furniture pieces were from Toys R Us and they are absolutely beautiful pieces I decided to spend a little bit more money because I figured you know that bookcase and the um, side table bedside table and behind me the bureau which I'll show you in a second those can be used um, later on especially after we outgrow the crib um, and and I'll just get a you know a bed or whatever if we have kids maybe we'll get bunk beds um, the match and a matching wood and it's just really nice furniture and I was just I don't know it's beautiful I had a lot of trouble ordering those pieces but I finally got them and Toys R Us customer service was really great about it so this is actually a hutch that converts to a bookshelf so it comes with the bottom piece to make it into a like a bookcase and we've secured that to the wall obviously all of the furniture I think with the exception of bedside tables anchored to the wall just because I'm not sure that's gonna stay there but you know for safety um, and it's not really organized you know in any particular way it's just functional for us right now I have all of our board books there and some toys and bins and things but there's not a lot in this room yet you know I think that it'll fill out a lot more in the summer and on the walls there I um, ordered those little ledge shelves from Land of Not as well to be um, like a library display for her children's some some of her children's books she has a lot more than that um, that I rotate out so those are books that on the top shelves, books we've already read, and on the bottom shelves, books we're going to read this week, um, that sort of thing. And I've just been rotating them out. And I just think it's, it's there's so much wall space in this room. I just think it kind of helps take up, you know, it adds an artistic element, I guess, and some a bit of um, decor, but it's also functional. And I love the way that looks. And I'm thinking of doing something similar in her nursery at home, but with white shelving. And then these little prints I ordered from Etsy as well. It's Cloud9 prints, these little... Um, classic poo prints. I love them. They were very inexpensive and I bought the frames very inexpensively off of Amazon. You can see there's one of them in the middle there is damaged because I dropped it accidentally but it's so I think they were like they were definitely under ten dollars and I'll just order a new one and bring it out for the summer and swap it out. Um, but uh, I wanted to have a bit of a Winnie the Pooh theme in here. You'll notice some Winnie the Pooh items um, here and there especially in the decor the little lamp another sound machine. That was from Toys R Us, I believe. Another inexpensive item that just really kind of ties the room together. And I did more of a gender neutral um, palette. I didn't really do much of a palette in here at all, but the decor things I do have are pretty neutral toned um, for, you know, we'll see. We'll see what other children might be in this room. I don't know. We'll have to, only time will tell. Um, but so that's that side of the room. And then over here, I have her bureau, which also includes a diaper changing station. Um, so I have, this is our favorite diaper pail. We have one at home too. It's by Ubi or Ubi. I'm not really sure exactly how you pronounce that, but it's great. Love it. And they come in different colors. So we have a gray one at home and this cream one here matches perfect. This is where I want to put in a floor lamp. But again, it's something I kind of want to wait anyway till she was a little older and it would be easy to teach her to not you know like pull up on it and stuff because I just I don't know floor lamps make me a little nervous with with babies of this age uh, but I think by the time we're here this summer and she's well over a year and a half old that that'll be okay uh, I can get a floor lamp and not worry about it um, so this is her hutch again it's the same set from Toys R Us beautiful beautiful furniture solid wood furniture absolutely gorgeous and actually you can see that hutch there is the same piece as the bookcase just attached to the uh, to the dresser um, and I only have one shelf up and I'm actually going to raise that shelf up even a little bit higher 
these are the, this is the only decor I have here so far. Sorry, you can see me in the reflection. Here's a little acrylic block frame kind of dealio from Erin Condren. That's from one one of the photos from our newborn photo shoot. And then this little set of nesting Winnie the Pooh nesting dolls I bought at the Chris Kindle Market in um, Chicago that they have in December every year a couple of years ago. And then kind of basic changing table stuff. You know, nothing's that fancy or that set, and it's kind of all fluctuates because we're not here all the time. When I come back in the summer, I'm not sure what our changing table needs are going to be, so it's nothing like really fancy, and I can just switch things out or switch things around as needed. And then the drawers are mainly just clothes in those middle drawers, and we bring our clothes with us, so I don't have them organized in any special way. The bottom is just some really honestly some baby blankets and her extra set of sheets and changing uh, mattress pad and extra changing pad cover. Um, the only things that really stay here is the organization in this drawer. Um, although a lot of the things come home with us, like the bows come home with us, but I've got her hair stuff in one and kind of her medical, I don't know, lotion and stuff in the other. Uh, bags for the um, diaper pail in there and then tissues in there. Um, and then this drawer is where I've been storing um, the diapers. And then we have our extra wipes, diapers, and then the little cloths I use to keep her bottom dry. Um, so not really much to show you in the other drawers in terms of organization because it, it just changes because we bring our clothes every time. It is very dry here, so I do like to keep a humidifier running 24-7. This is one of the crane drop humidifiers, which are great, and I highly recommend them. They're pretty inexpensive. It's a cool mist humidifier, which is what they uh, recommend for babies. And I just actually have it on a nursing stool that I never used, but I had bought before I had her, um, and that works perfectly. And I have the plugs kind of tucked into the outlet behind the unit, so I don't have to worry about that. And all the other outlets have, you know, those baby safety um, plug covers in them. And I do have the same um, baby monitor here, and I have that just hanging on the wall. It's just for the best angle. It's not the most attractive thing, but it gives me the best angle into the crib um, for monitoring. And then more of these prints, I'm going to try to show you an angle, from Cloud9 prints. They were so inexpensive, and I just love them. And the inexpensive frames, they match perfectly with the furniture, and I just, you just add a little something. I think I'm going to probably add a few more things to the walls. Um, maybe like even I have my eye on a Winnie the Pooh growth chart just to have something else over there But I don't know if the lamp might be all we need She does have her own walk-in closet, which I'll show you um, Right now it's mainly just That's where I put everything when we go away because we're not here for such long periods of time. I put all of her um, all of her toys and anything, you know, fabric away in those bins. Um, I've got just a laundry bin at the bottom. That's another thing I want to buy, like a laundry hamper. This is where I have her children's book collection that's not already on the wall that are not board books. And then those are toys that are a little bit old for her that I think she'll be playing with in the summer that I had purchased. Um, so she's got lots of hanging room and storage in here that she's never going to need really until she's much older. But um, it's just a good, good sized closet and... Like I said, if we're blessed with more children or another child, we'll definitely be able to keep two kids uh, worth of stuff in here. And it's great to store things when we're not here, too, as well. Um, so a lot of the bins are empty right now. I have some pumping things that I no longer use because she's basically practically 100% weaned. Uh, I never really pumped that much anyway, but some backup diapers and things like that. But And that's her fan for the summer because we don't have air conditioning in this house. Um, so the fan comes in really handy. That's the closet. And then she also has, well, Winnie, of course, has her own bed in here because, you know, Winnie needs to feel welcome. But she also has her own bathroom. And I have done absolutely no organization in here. All the stuff on the counter is stuff that was already in this bathroom. Um, so I'm probably going to, like, kidify this this summer. I need to clean out all the drawers in the under the sink. It's still kind of left over as, like, a guest room, which is what this room was before. Uh, but I'm going to make it kid-friendly this summer. So you can even see, here, I'll turn the light on for the shower, that the, I'm just using like the bucket of stuff that I store her bath stuff in to house things this is a temporary thing because it doesn't have a bath, it has a shower, but I've just been using this Stoka uh, bath that we have at home that we love, and it works perfectly well. But to come this summer, she's going to be big enough to take a, a, a bath in a big tub, so um, we'll use one of the other bathtubs in the house, and I will store that maybe hopefully for another baby. And then when she's even older, she can use the shower and it's great because you can see I even have it low here. She can even, 
I don't know, some kids like to shower when they're really young, some don't we'll see what, what, how she likes that, but this is definitely can work for a little kid or a very tall kid or a very tall adult. Um, so I just have her stuff on the floor. There's no rhyme or reason to that, you guys. But this is something I do plan on working on this summer. The only thing I really did in this bathroom was put up these prints, again, from Cloud9 Prints. These are the black and white version. I wish I had hung them a little bit closer together in the middle. I didn't do a great job of measuring that out, but it's okay. I wanted something on that wall to take up a little bit of room, be a little bit of decor. Um, you know, it could be more, but it's not. So it is what it is. That kind of thing. Uh, let's turn the lights out. And then lastly, she does have, just like in our room, a loft in her room. There is a broomstick up there that I need to put away that Don had used to fashion the makeshift covering for the skylight. I think maybe I should, what I should do is order like a blind to go over that, that we can, you know, use like a hook, kind of like a hook on a stick thing to either open or close for more light or less light. Um, that's something I might look into doing this summer. And I'm not going to go up there right now, but right up there is a futon actually unfolded. It makes basically a double bed and a little nightstand and a lamp. Maybe down the road that'll be some place where a kid sleeps or maybe I'll make it into like a play area, almost like a treehouse sort of thing. For now, it's kind of off limits and I think it will be off limits until I'm very confident about Charlotte and whatever subsequent children um, climbing up there safely. So I'm this summer I might have to work on maybe putting some sort of gate or something across that so there's no temptation to climb up it. I haven't quite figured that out yet or if it can just be a teaching thing like, you know, we don't climb up there without mommy or daddy, that sort of thing. It does worry me a little bit, uh, but I think it'll be really fun when Charlotte is a little bit older, you know, and and it's safe for her to climb up there. I think that'll be a really fun, either a sleeping place or a play place. We'll see. This room is big enough and with high enough ceilings, I could definitely put a bunk bed in, which I think would be also very fun and awesome. Um, so we'll see about that. But if, you know, even when... When she's older, if she's in teenage years and kids are still sharing a room, who knows, you guys, I can't predict what, what's gonna happen with our family and like how that's gonna grow and change, but that could be a nice bedroom uh, escape loft area for a teenager. So it might change over the years and if I'm still posting videos at that time, I'll keep you guys up to date and maybe this summer I'll do a quick little update and show you guys what I've added to the room, but. That's it in a nutshell. Sort of the bare minimum, I suppose, but it's definitely function for us, and Charlotte's very comfortable in here, and we love it. So I hope you enjoyed this look at Charlotte's room in the Utah house, her nursery, I guess. I think of it more of less as a nursery, I think, even than our room at home, because it just, to me, it already seems so much adult, like so much older, more mature, with the furniture and the way everything is, even with the crib in here. I don't know what I'm saying, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you're having a wonderful start to the year and I look forward to sharing more with you. So thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.